Okay, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about using the quiz functionality in Canvas, which uh, can really make your life easier. And just a reminder about how the navigation in Canvas works. So the top navigation is uh, global, so it relates to all courses. The green navigation uh, up in the right, upper right can corner is specific to you, the user. And then on the side, this is the navigation that is specific to your course. And any element that is grayed out is fully accessible to you, the instructor, uh, but it's invisible to the student, and that's why it's grayed out. So don't, don't assume that you can't use any of these things. Um, it's just that they are not visible by the student. So we do have a quizzes page, but I am going to go to the modules page to show you uh, a quiz in context because we are sequencing everything into modules for the students. Um, but if you are doing, you know, if you have existing quizzes that you want to create in bulk, uh, you might want to start with the quizzes page and just add them. So here is uh, my modules page, and we have um, several modules. It's you know not a blended course yet. This is just augmenting the face-to-face. -face. And down here we have our first quiz in Exposure Basics. And it usually appears in the module with this particular symbol. Each, each kind of content in the module has its own symbol. It also has a due date over here and a point value that is clearly visible to the student. And uh, something to bear in mind, whenever you create uh, a date-related assignment or quiz, it's going to show up in the module list with its date. It's going to show up on your calendar, uh, which is the same calendar that the students are going to see. And it's also going to turn up uh, most importantly, on the home page, which is known as the syllabus page in Canvas, it auto-generates a schedule. Um, everything that is associated with the date is going to turn up here, and we can see here are our quizzes in the list here. Another thing to note on the home page is the assignments weighted by group, and however you um, have things uh, weighted in your course, you can assign these to different groups and then the system will calculate out the grade from that, which uh, I really like that feature. So quizzes are their own category in this course. There are three quizzes worth 20% of the grade. So the math's a little awkward. I'm kind of glad that um, Canvas works that out for me. And I'll uh, show you how you can do that uh, assignment weighting um, in probably another video. So back to modules. And uh, so how the student would be accessing the quiz is going to look a little bit different. I'm going to show how it looks to the instructor, you, when you first um, go to the quiz. This is a published quiz, and I can't unpublish it because there's already um, been students taking it. But when you are prepping your quiz, you would probably leave this unpublished. Um, and you can preview it so to get a sense of what it looks like to the students. Right now, we are most interested in the Edit button. And here's where you give your quiz a title. You get a couple of tabs, settings and questions. Uh, settings, I haven't really put in um, very much uh, information. But in this particular quiz, and in fact, all the quizzes I ran in this course, I started them so that they uh, started right exactly at the beginning of class, which started at noon. And then it was due 15 minutes later. So that was really helpful getting students to class on time. So I definitely recommend that. There are different quiz types, so it doesn't have to be a graded quiz. And um, 
One of the uh, things that is really being pushed in education right now is the concept of frequent low stakes assessments. And the idea being that students really respond to uh, that instant feedback about how they're doing. Um, <clears throat> so even though a quiz may not seem like, you know, something you want to give a lot of weight to in terms of grading, but in terms of it being a self-assessment tool for your students, um, it's quite useful. So you might just want to make your quizzes very, uh, you know, small point value or, you know, a participation only kind of grade, in which case you might want to go with a practice quiz. And depending on which quiz type you choose, it's also going to impact your, um, your options available to that. So because this was a graded quiz, it gets an assignment group. So it's going into my quizzes assignment group, which I've pre-designated as being 20% of the grade. And then there are a variety of features in here, shuffling answers, time limits. Uh, if you want to give them multiple choices, then you can tell them how many, or multiple uh, attempts, how many attempts, which score to keep. So it's pretty granular and... Um, how, how uh, you want to present your quiz and also quiz restrictions. This is presumably to help if you're doing, if they're taking the quiz remotely to keep them from cheating. And I also let my students see their quiz responses uh, five minutes after it was due so that they do get that instant feedback. If you go to questions, uh, you see the list of the questions. Each of the questions has a little, um, you know, short name to it. And then if I show question details, we can see um, this is true false, what the correct answer is, and these are the uh, little comments that I've attached, you know, depending on which grade they get. This is a matching one. Uh, multiple choice. There's a number of different ways you can configure individual questions. Once students have taken the quiz, uh, then there's several ways to slice and dice the information. Um, if you look on the right-hand navigation here, quiz statistics, moderate this quiz, and speed grader. So let's take a look at quiz statistics. Tells me how many users have taken the quiz, some uh, basic uh, aggregated information about that. Um, I can also download a CSV file, which gives me each student's analysis and or if I want to go uh, an analysis by the question. But uh, I kind of prefer this graphical approach. Um, if I hover over each of these, it's showing me how many students um, answered each of these questions, and if I right-click on this, I can actually see a list of the student names um, of who answered uh, each of the, you know, um, which answer they gave. So I think that's um, pretty valuable. There's also the speed grader, which I have up here in another window, just as an example, uh, where you can see each individual's um, answers and incorrect answers, what their grade is, uh, and then you can kind of go through the list and see each individual one. Here we are now on the quizzes page, which uh, I access just by clicking on quizzes on the side nav. And here are all the quizzes, the um, little uh, cloud here with the check box in it. This is um, publishing and unpublishing, and you can see I can't unpublish these because there are student submissions attached to that, but um, this, this is just to let you know this is the icon that you're going to use to publish. Uh, so if I wanted to create a new quiz from scratch, um, I could either do that within the module or I could just click on the Add Quiz button here. And then I get my raw quiz parameters. I can give it a name, put in the general instructions, set the parameters here. And then um, I have an option of I can create this quiz uh, by just by adding questions, or 
I can work with uh, question banks um, by choosing new question group and I'm not going to go into that but I will show you here on uh, Canvas Guides, which again is guides.instructure.com, uh, how I would get that information, which is uh, just type it into the search box. And they have a pretty good help feature. Um, you just type in what it is you want, and then how do I create a new quiz with a question bank and a question group? Uh, how to create a question bank? So if you're interested in that functionality, I recommend you just check that out. Um, these helps are pretty, you know, you know, they really kind of walk you through it. And they also have videos that also walk you through it. Here we are in the grades section of the course. Uh, grades is different than the grade book, which is grade book is kind of a plugin where you can see the individual responses. Uh, the grades is kind of your master um, of all the grades in the course, and it automatically populates with the uh, information. So here's our cameras and exposure quiz off here on the right, and we can see. Here are the different uh, groupings here with the different weightings associated with this, and then this gets totaled up on the end here. So just a reminder, if you want to start using your Canvas site using that quiz functionality, uh, you need to get your um, syllabus module set up. We have a standardized template because students are going to be you know, using Canvas for every course, so we need it to have um, a similar navigation so the the technology piece of it is very transparent and they can just focus on the content so please contact me at uh, jenny dot at expression dot edu and um, we'll get you set up so you can be up and running with your quiz uh, you'll need to also of course add students to the course which is a little bit tricky um, but entirely doable so I uh, hope you enjoy that quiz functionality and uh, look out for more videos to come.